One way to identify a saltwater fish is by the bright colors. Uh, when you walk into a store and you're not sure if you're looking at a freshwater or saltwater tank, these are the fish that are larger and have bright colors are saltwater. Of course, you can tell also by the decor of the tank. Usually there'll be sand in the tank and uh, no, uh, no aquatic plants. Um, but uh, um, the, generally what attracts people to saltwater fish are the colors. Uh, this is a pair of blue devils and uh, they're a very bright colored fish. It's usually a fish that people start with because uh, they're inexpensive and brightly colored and also very hardy. Uh, they're related to the, the clownfish uh, of Nemo fame. Everyone knows Nemo, the Ocellaris clownfish. Um, and uh, the clownfish are also very hardy. Um, another group of fish that people like to keep are tangs. Uh, there's the yellow tang from Hawaii, and um, of course dory is a blue tang or a blue hippo tang. Um, the tangs are also useful because they eat algae in a tank, but they do have some personality issues. They sometimes become a bit aggressive. Um, another, another closely related to the tangs are, are butterfly fish, which are kind of delicate fish to keep. I generally don't recommend butterfly fish to people unless they really do a lot of studying on their own. Um, and then there are large angelfish that everyone uh, is aware of. There's one on the copy of this, this book, an imperator angel. Um, angelfish are also a special case. They probably don't belong in a reef tank. Generally, um, in my mind, I separate fish into reef tank appropriate or, not, or fish only tank appropriate. Uh, another popular fish are the trigger fish. Um, they're, they're like little pets. They're, they have a lot of personality, but they would destroy a tank like this. They would turn over all the rocks. Um, another fish that will turn over a lot of rocks are some of the large wrasses, although there are reef-friendly wrasses, too. Um, and uh, wrasses are useful because they kind of will clean up your tank as well. Uh, they'll eat bristle worms, and, um, and they're interesting. They never, they never stop. Um, there, there are a lot of different categories of saltwater fish uh, and oftentimes they, they perform little chores on the tank but I don't like to tell people that the fish is going to do a specific chore. Basically you should only buy fish that you think uh, you can maintain properly and um, don't expect them to, to do the work for you although if they do that's great.